So all things being equal, uh, welcome back. <laughs> Before I go jumping into things and uh, start talking, I've, I've got a, a couple of things in my mind here about this game. Uh, what I wanted to do was continue the discussion about play by poll for flat top, which is what we're looking at. So having said that, assuming that all of you uh, fine folks are going to buy into the Japanese being the team that you manage, uh, what we need to do is come up with a, a basic plan for the Jap oh, excuse me for the Japanese before we get started on uh, playing the game. I've uh, so that uh, I can allocate the resources to the different fleets and, and task forces and things like that. Uh, there are a couple of rules that kind of uh, restrict what can happen and can't happen with a task force. A task force for the Japanese can only have ten aeroplanes. Ten aeroplanes, really. 10 ships, uh, 10 ships in it. And so, for instance, with the little fleet of uh, troop carriers and uh, related ships there, over here, we need to split that up into uh, more than two groups because we're gonna have, uh, uh, I think it's a CVL that will go with this. Let me just check, task force three. Yeah, it's going to have this guy, an AV, the Kamakawa, which can uh, carry some aircraft and things. And if we're going to have all these uh, troop carriers, we're going to need some destroyers to protect them. And we probably want to have a cruiser along uh, as well for a little extra protection. So all those things in, uh, in mind, that means we're going to have somewhere in the order of uh, 20 to 25 ships. So we're going to need three task forces they can all be in the one hex together in the ocean and all that sort of stuff, but they can't just, uh, we can't just jam everybody into one big pile. So uh, here we go. So we've got three there, for instance. And what I want to talk to you guys about was the allocation of the air forces uh, that are land-based and then those that are uh, sea-based. Uh, and also you know, wrapping up the where the ships go. I put the majority of the cruisers and whatnot with the, uh, the flat tops. I put uh, three destroyers in each group. These will each both have to be a task force. So that will uh, that'll be mandatory. There's so two task forces for these two units, uh, two groups of units. And they're both gonna have basically an even apportionment of the aircraft resources that are available. Uh, Zeros, Pete's, and Vels and Kates, which are dive, uh, which are uh, dive bombers and torpedo bombers, respectively. And then the last little task force we need is this little guy here, which has the uh, this CVO, which is what I was thinking about earlier on. Uh, let me see if I can just zoom in on that guy. I think it's. Uh, yeah, this little guy. So we're going to put this little guy in a uh, task force as well. And he goes in this larger circle. So that, <laughs> uh, and then in the, over here in lay, uh, I wanted to put uh, for you guys quite a few zeros and Nels and Mavis over here so that you can have reached Port Moresby to uh, you know, conduct any sort of air support attacks that might complement whatever you end up doing with the troop transports. That seemed to make logical sense. I didn't put too much in Rabul uh, defensively. Uh, and then I put some search craft here, a couple of Bettys to be used as search craft, and a couple of zeros. Oops, I'm out of frame there, there you go. And then over here in uh, Tulagi, we also uh, put quite a few units here, some uh, Nels for searching and Bettys, <clears throat> thinking that we would push those chaps out prior to wherever you end up taking off on with the, uh, with the, the two task forces that carry your the heavy CVs. So um, that, that's kind of the plan. That's kind of the force allocation, resource allocation part of it. The second aspect that we need to kind of come to grips with is uh, a general uh, battle plan and uh, what, to, what your main priorities are going to be. 
And I assume that given that the most uh, uh, VPs that can be had uh, are from getting the APs, the troops, the troop carriers to Port Moresby, that that would be priority number one. Priority number two would be uh, identifying where the enemy CVs were and then sinking those, right? Um, with that, those two broad brush goals in mind and your forces split with the majority of your fighting ships and aircraft carriers all the way over here, and knowing that the US forces will start somewhere behind this red line, anywhere between this, this hex and this hex is actually here. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty big swathe of uh, ocean to cover. Uh, and so you've got your two forces separated. How are you going to handle that and where, where are you going to move and what are you going to do? Are you going to try and combine your forces and move to Port Moresby or are you going to screen or, or what are you going to do? And I, I need to kind of come up with two or three plans that you can choose from so that you have a, a reasonable chance of being successful with whatever it is that you attempt to do. Just knocked a piece. Uh, I've already done the cloud movement and stuff like that, so now really what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, we'll jump into the uh, jump into the equation uh, of the, the specific movement plans for each force. And what I'd like to try and do is lay out those plans so that we don't I don't have to check in every turn. Do you want to move two hexes this way, this way, this way? I'd like to be able to say, okay, these two task forces are going to start either here or here, or here, or here, and they're gonna go this way to Port Mosby, or they're gonna sit here and try and find the uh, enemy, or what are they gonna do, right? I need to know what they wanna do. Same goes for you know, the AP. So they're gonna start really close in the uh, China Strait, or are they going to stand off until you identify where the CVs are, or stand off until you do some damage to Port Moresby, what's the scenario going to be? And what is this task force going to do? And, and all that sort of good stuff. So they're the things that we need to kind of come to agreement on in terms of a general plan. And once we have that general plan, uh, I've already written the US plan, uh, what their, their plan is going to be and how they're going to approach the game and the situation. And then we'll kind of take it from there and then we can get started. Uh, so, uh, any thoughts, comments, and ideas, uh, put them uh, in this uh, video comments thread or on the blog. Uh, please don't put them anywhere else. Uh, it'd be nice if I could just only have a couple of places to check. Uh, you know, I guess Facebook is fine as well. So, uh, but uh, try and focus on uh, keeping them in uh, one or two places so I can uh, consolidate all your input. All right, talk to you guys uh, very soon.